We're here with uh, Bishop Paul Zamogedide from Uganda. Very privileged to have Bishop here in the Catholic TV living room. And he's from the Diocese of Sunshine. Yep. Or at least that's what the first word. I'm going to have you pronounce it, Bishop, so I don't I mess it up. Casana mm. Ruero. Casana Casa Ruero. Casana Ruero. And Casana means sunshine. Sunshine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you and have. There's a lot of heat in, in Casana Ruero. It's very dry. But you're used to it. It can be very hot. Yeah. Well, get used to it. Well, it's great to have you here. This is uh, spectacular. I know you're in town because of the, the feast of the Ugandan martyrs, yep. uh, which is. June 3rd, yeah. and uh, some, some of our listeners and watchers, viewers, will remember uh, that on June 3rd we celebrate the Feast of St. Charles Luanga and his companions. Yeah, Can you just tell us the story of uh, St. Charles and his 21 companions? Well, the, the, these martyrs were killed mm -hmm. in 1918. 79, 80, up to 86, around there. And they were all young there. men, right? Very young men, yeah. all young men. One was elder. Matia Murumba was uh, the eldest. Okay. And he had several women. And because of faith, he had to, to outgo the others and remain with one. Charles Ranga was the leader. Okay. And uh, a brutal king called Mwanga killed uh, them for following Christi being Christians. Mm -hmm and uh, for disobeying the him, you know, because he wanted them to, 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 to act immorally. Sure. And they, 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 they disobeyed him. And that was, uh, they regarded him as rebels and mm -hmm. killed them mm -hmm. for their faith. And it's wonderful that the entire church, the universal church all over the world, celebrates uh, this, this great witness of these young men and women. And I didn't realize there were some women, There are some too. women yeah. who are not you know, mentioned, but there are women who are also martyred, mm -hmm. and is being investigated. We are trying to see and uh, come out with some names of the ladies who were killed because of their faith. Pope Paul VI, in 1964, declared them saints, Uganda martyrs, canonized them. I remember he was quoted, uh, I think it was in his homily at that Mass, as saying that being a Christian is a fine thing, but it's not an easy thing. Yeah, I know, he did that. And then at that time he said that, after, you know, when he came to, uh, to Uganda uh, in 1966, he said that now Africans, you can now evangelize yourselves. There you go. Mm. And uh, as we often say, the blood of martyrs is the seed of faith, seed of and faith. so for the Ugandan people, this is a Ugandan huge people, event. Very, very big. Yeah. When you come to the Uganda Martyrs Day, 3rd of June is a, f a day of holidays. It's a national day. All Ugandans mark it as for the heroes of the Uganda Martyrs. A national holiday? National holiday. This year, the president himself came to celebrate Mass with us, and uh, it's a big day. Over a million people come to to make pilgrimage to the Uganda Matters Shrine. Wow, that's unbelievable. And all the bishops come and celebrate Mass there. We get pilgrimage from different parts of the world, including the United States, and many from Africa. So you were there, actually, for the feast, but then you came to Boston. And in Boston, as I understand, there's one of the largest, if not the largest, Ugandan uh, group of people in the entire country. I think it is the, the largest. It's yeah. the largest. I was invited, kindly invited by by Cardinal Omar, but uh, after, of course, the Cardinal didn't know me, but Father Michael had been in Uganda, and Father Michael has, uh, uh, Paris priest of St. Mary's, mm -hmm. has accommodated and welcomed and hosted and made it a home for the Ugandans, the Ugandan community. Uh, and through the invitation, I have been able to come and celebrate. And Father Michael Nolan has, has been to your country? Has been to my country. We yeah. met there, uh, I think it's two years ago, when I was still a parish priest of uh, a central parish in the city called Kampala, before I became a bishop. Okay. And we had a chat. Uh, so he, when I came here, I, I met somebody that I had met, and he's a wonderful man. Yeah. He has made me feel at home. Yeah. Yes, That's the Ugandan great. community is big here. So I came to celebrate with them. I was very happy to find them still committed to, to their faith and uh, very active in church and uh, 
also working hand in hand with Father Michael and promoting the, the Feast of Uganda Matters mm -hmm. here sure. in the United States. Could you just tell our viewers a little bit about your diocese, how many priests you have, how many people? Because I think they'd be fascinated to learn more. Yeah, my diocese is, is, is a young diocese, 12 years. It was carved uh, from uh, the Archdiocese of Kampala, I see. where I was serving as Vicar General. But 12 years ago, they had uh, uh, the first bishop is uh, uh, Dr. Cyprian Kisito Luanga who is now the Archbishop of Kampala, okay. Kampala Archdiocese. And when he was made Archbishop, then Rome had to look for a bishop. And for two years, they had not appointed a bishop there until in August last year, 20, 23rd, I became a bishop of Kasanaru El Diocese. Kasanaru El Diocese is, 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 has a, an, a population of about 750 thousand people you know it is quite a large area it has quite a large area but the the, 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 the population is not very big of, of the diocese the catholics are only about two hundred thousand okay uh, but the number is growing big. and spread out over spread out because yeah. you have yeah. some missionary priests too we have uh, about 10 missionary priests or congregations mm -hmm. uh, of priests and also religious mm -hmm. the diocese is rural rural area mm -hmm. and very poor. Okay. This diocese suffered for the last 30 years of civil war. It was a center of fighting and killings. I see. So many people died because of the wars, especially the, 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 the rebels, which is now the government. In government, they f that was their base, fighting the government of Obote and Idi Amin. Okay. They took over power. But the wounds remained there, that mm -hmm. people are still suffering. So many people died, uh, and uh, many people ran away, and uh, now currently we have another problem that even AIDS, the HIV AIDS has come in, and that so many people are still dying, and there's so many orphans and so many widows mm -hmm. in that area. It's still at the same time though, it's a country, a people of tremendous faith. I mean, that just the fact that the yeah. Feast of the Ugandan Martyrs is a national holiday says yeah. an awful lot to me. Yeah, in spite of the, the fact that they've got these problems, but the people still have their faith. And it's a growing faith, it's young faith. You know, you, it's not only the, elder, the elderly, but even the small, the youth, the, lead, the women and men. And uh, they, they all go to church and actively so. And no, I promised, I promised you, I promised the bishop that I would ask him not just easy questions, mm -hmm. but hard questions too. So here's my hard question for you. If in fact you were ever called as a Catholic man, as a priest and a bishop, to make that same kind of witness as Charles Luanga and his companions, how do you think you'd deal with it? That's a hard one. I told uh, you I'd ask you a hard me, yeah. one. I, I thank God that I think I will not... I'll not be asked by anybody to, 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 to shed my life for that. Uh, but I think I'll pray for the matters that will give me the strength if I've ever been asked to, do, to give up my life for Christ, to do that. Because I'm a bishop, I'm a priest. Mm -hmm. I committed myself and I promised that for everything, I'll give it up for Christ. Mm -hmm. So I hope that I would have that faith that the matters had. But as I see Uganda now, being so faith, you know, Christian background and so on, nobody will ask me for my life. Yeah. But there we have hopefully, but I've got other other challenges now that that I need to give up life. Sure. Give up whatever I have, whatever I need for the sake of the people. Yeah. To work for them, to, to suffer for them, to, 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 to be with them. That's kind of witness that I can have to give. Well Bishop Paul, it's been so great to have you here on this is the day right here in our Catholic TV living room. Uh, I'm sure a great inspiration to our viewers to have the chance to meet you, hear a little bit about the Ugandan martyrs and also about the people of your local diocese and local church. And uh, I ask our viewers to remember you in prayer as Thank you continue you. the good work among your people. Thank you. uh, and Bishop Paul, it's been great to have you. you. And thank you so much. Nice and to be here. Oh, thank you for it's, the invitation. It's, it's been a real pleasure, honestly. I ask them that they pray for us and they support us in any way they could. 
and I invite them to come to Uganda. And, and uh, I hope one day we shall have a, a TV program like you have here. We don't have a TV program in Uganda. Okay. But pray for us and very support good. us. Will do. Thank you very much. Thanks, Bishop Paul. Thank you. And uh, now we're going to go back to more of This is the Day.